In this lesson, we will learn about two properties of financial assets, mean reversion and cointegration. Based on these properties, we will learn about a trading strategy called pairs trading. First, let's preview some concept. What is mean reversion? A mean reverting time series is one that tends to move back and forth around some constant value. When applying mean reversion to a single stock, we could check when the stock price deviates significantly from the mean. For example, we may see a stock decline significantly below its historical average. Assuming the stock will revert to its mean, we may buy the stock and anticipate that it will increase back to its original price. There is still the risk that the stock price does not return to its historical mean. For example, the stock may settle at its new lower value. Even worse, it might just keep declining. In practice, it's more common to apply mean reversion to a pair of stocks. Let's imagine the two companies CXO and PXD are economically linked. By economically linked, I mean that they have same line of business, may be operating in the same country and may have similar types of products or customers. We can imagine that the stock price of these two companies may also move up and down in a similar way. Since these companies move up together and down together, they appear to have consistent relationship that we can expect will continue in the near future. So when we see the prices of these two companies diverge significantly, we may take trading decisions based on this assumption that this divergence is temporary. The view of our trading strategy is that later in the future, the prices will settle back to the original relationship. We will look at this concept in more detail in the next videos, but before we continue to the next lesson, let's open Google Collapse and I will show you how I have generated these two plots with Yahoo Finance data. Okay, in order to follow the practical part, just open Google Collab. Okay, so create a new notebook. And now you can basically rename your notebook and then you can start from scratch. So because I have already something prepared, basically first you will need to install Yahoo Finance model and this is how you do it. You execute this command. That exclamation mark is basically saying it's a shell run command rather than notebook command. Okay, so in, let's install the Yahoo Finance. Okay, once the installation is done, let's import the Pandas module and the Yahoo Finance module. Uh, select the Boeing ticker and download the data from the Yahoo. Okay, download completed. Let's see the data, the first uh, five rows. Okay, now that's the data we have uh, received from Yahoo Finance. So we have always open, high, low and close prices and the adjusted close with the volume. So let's take only the adjusted close column and plot it. Okay, that's the whole data from uh, Boeing available from Yahoo Finance is basically the adjusted close from 1970 to 2019. Let's take only the year 2019 for adjusted close and store it in the new data frame BA 2019 and now for that period let's calculate the mean value for adjusted close and store it to the mean and plot the results Voila, now we have the plot for the data from 2019, beginning of 2019 to the end, to today basically. And the orange line is the mean value for that period. So you can see it is mean reverting from the mean and comes always back. Now let's plot two different stocks. Just import ticker CXO and PXD from our example download the tickers okay the download is completed let's rename the adjusted close to CXO price and PXD price because we will need to merge them both together and we need the unique names so once we have that 
we create a new data frame only with CXO price and PXT price. Let's see. Okay, and now we can plot. And here is basically the example from the presentation before. Okay, so now let's try and uh, give me a comment below if you have any questions.